Hello everybody, I'm Don Counts. We're coming to you live from Flintville, Tennessee at the Flintville Community Center and Fire Hall. And this is Crethen Caldwell, our captain. And we want to tell you about something really, really big coming up this weekend. That's right, Don. Uh, we're having our annual music festival and fish fry. It will be Saturday, 22nd, starting at 11 p.m. Or 11 a.m., I'm sorry. At 11 a.m. be, 11, be, be late. late. Be late. We're going to start uh, 11 a.m. We're going to have our, our classic fish, chicken, fries, hush puppies, coleslaw, drinks, and some wonderful desserts, homemade desserts brought in from the ladies here in the community, Don. Yeah, we're excited about that. And we're excited also to show you, well, on this side of me, we got a brand new truck, but in the end of the building, we got uh, our building's been extended out. How far? Uh, it's a 60 long by 25 deep. Uh, we will. Uh, be able to get everyone inside the building uh, this time. We usually had a tent set up to catch the overflow, but uh, this year we're going to have plenty of room inside. So I know the forecast has been talking about a little bit of rain, uh, but not to worry. Uh, rain's going to be fine. If it rains a little bit, we can get everybody in the building. Everybody be warm. Everybody be dry. And they'll get to enjoy the day, Don. Absolutely. And there's a lot going on. We got music all day starting at 11 o'clock. That's when the food starts. And then we're going to be here until late that evening because we're going to start off with Randy Waller. Then we got Crossroads, Donald Ronald Jean and his crew, Daniel Sapak, they're going to be here. They're going to be doing a, an acoustic set. Then we've got Josh Ogle and Levi Ogle. Levi's going to bring a little band to his group, and we're looking forward to that. And then we are uh, going to have uh, a group, brand new group at 2 o'clock, Ardmore Pickers. They're going to be coming in from Giles County. They're going to be really, really good. I've heard good things. Mary T has lined that up. And then it's going to be the Sims family, then the Grand Ole Opry from Boone's Hill. Mary T's bringing all her crew over for that. And then we're coming outside for the grand finale with Four Miles Gone. That's right, Don. And of course, any of you guys that were here last year know they put on a phenomenal show. Yeah. Of course, all of our entertainment put on phenomenal they performances. Do. Uh, and I uh, don't know what these guys have got planned for this year, but it's going to be a really good day and a really great show. And, Don, you know, uh, <coughs> we have a lot of folks that help us in the community. Of course, our community is wonderful. Uh, they, they step in. They, they support us uh, uh, when we need to do things. And, of course, it's all for the county and for this mm -hmm. area of the county. Yep. Uh, but we have a lot of people that sponsor us, too. Uh, a lot of businesses around that sponsor us, and we'd like to mention okay. uh, a couple of those. Uh, we'd like to mention All Gas, uh, Propane and Federal. They provide us with our propane for uh, this uh, music festival, and uh, it's a big help. Uh, we would like to mention Helena Seed and Fertilize. They're new to the area. They uh, built a new place out on Highway 64 there at the corner of Elora Road. So, uh, if you need fertilizer needs or seed needs, you need to go see those folks over at Elena. Uh, they've been around a long time, but they're new in our area, and we're proud to have them uh, in our neighborhood. Uh, we've also got H&R uh, AgriPower. H&R uh, mm -hmm. support us about every year we've done this, and uh, you know we just couldn't hardly do it without the, the support of the community. And it seemed like we get more people involved every year. Uh, and Don, you know, we usually give away a TV mm -hmm. uh, every year, but this time we're going to do something a little different. Uh, we're going to give away 50 pounds of ground hamburger meat. Uh, it's been donated to us from Taylor Made Market. Now, they're in Federal there at 1648 Huntsville Highway is their retail location. But a lot of folks don't know that they've actually bought a processing plant out here at Flintville. Uh, and it's a uh, 64 old, uh, it's on old 64 highway. Uh, they're near where they used to call Green Gables. Uh, these folks have been around, been in the farm business for years. They dairied for years. I think they still may dairy. Yeah. Uh, good folks. Uh, glad to have them on board as a sponsor this year. Uh, but yes, they've uh, donated 50 pounds of hamburger meat. We're going to raffle that off. Tickets are going to be available the day of the the show. Uh, they'll be five dollars a piece or five for twenty dollars, just like on the TV. And you're not going to have to take and carry 50 pounds of hamburger meat out to your car. Uh, we'll give you gift certificates for 10 pounds each, and you'll go by their retail location and pick that up as you need it. So That's good. you ain't got to worry about having freezer space, and you ain't got to worry about toting that, you know, 50 pounds of hamburger meat. So we want to thank those guys for that. And, uh, you know, they all there's homegrown, home raised here in Lincoln County. So, you know, get a chance, stop by, uh, see what they have to offer. I, I've heard really good things about it. Uh, so, uh, 
you know, anytime you can buy local is good, and uh, we love the support from, from our local businesses. Of course, I want to mention Patty Rutledge over at the Flintwood Mini Mart. She's such a big help. She does our coleslaw, which is homemade uh, for this thing, and she does our tea, so we want to thank her, too. Absolutely. Uh, so, but, you know, Don, uh, we we spend a lot of time on this every year, getting this thing ready, and it's just grown and grown and grown, and we're real excited to see where it goes this year. Uh mm -hmm. We've uh, we've you know done a lot of things since last year. Uh, Don mentioned the new tanker truck, which we were able to to get uh, through the county. Uh, county had got some federal money and bought two tanker trucks, and we were uh, recipients of one of those tanker trucks. And uh, of course, Don, you know it's the work we've done and the support that the communities had that put us in a position to receive that truck. Uh, and uh, our old truck, our old tanker, uh, went to another department, so it's it's serving another community. So, uh, two good things come out of that. Uh, and of course, the building, uh, we've uh, added uh, 60 by 25, about 1,500 square foot onto our building, uh, and this has allowed us to take and uh, grow our department, uh, grow our our equipment uh, to help protect the community, and uh, it's been a real big addition. It looks good in the community as well. Uh, we've concreted our apron out in front of the building, and this will be here for a long time. So, uh, you know, we're we're trying to make those improvements and give these new guys, you know, a foundation to build on in the future. So we uh, uh, we needed the room. We have a boat, and Jonathan might pan over and see our rescue truck. Now, if we're going on a first responder call, this is what you're going to see pull up, uh, which takes the load off the other trucks, and uh, and that's a really big help. But we had to have the room for that and all the other stuff and really like Crethen said we're looking for the future that's the main thing because uh, we have to continue to grow to be ready for uh, uh, for whatever comes and we've already ran 65 calls so far this year it seems like it's early in the year to have that yeah. many calls but uh, we run a lot so we've got a good department and you will meet all the guys Saturday and we're all proud of them everybody's got a job to do we've been doing this for a while so we all know what we got to do and we got to get it done and we're looking forward to seeing you this Saturday here in downtown Flintville. That's right, Don. And you'll get to meet the guys and you'll get to see the equipment. You'll get to see. You'll get to physically put your hands on what your money's going to. Uh, and uh, we've been a growing department and we've made a lot of improvements. And it's all been because of the support that we get from the community. And uh, we appreciate that and we'll continue to appreciate it and we'll continue to try to put on a good show and something to bring the community together, Don. And that's really about as important as raising money is Absolutely. getting everybody together, seeing your neighbor, fellowshipping, coming out, visiting with each other. We just don't do enough of that anymore. And so we want to invite everybody out, come out, get you a plate, get you a seat, enjoy the great music that we're going to have. Again, weather's no concern. This is a completely indoor event. Uh, so, uh, you know, again, we've, uh, we've, we're just, we're ready to go. Uh, so we're looking forward to seeing everybody. Flintville Music Festival and Fish Fry this Saturday, April 22nd, starting at 11 o'clock. We'll be here all day. Hope to see you.